parliament can watch today's message. Laiti kila seneta kila mbunge angeweza kutazama ujumbe wa siku ya leo. the foundation. Kuhusu misingi. Because all the way way till now I have always been thinking that this government is a government of God. Kwa maana wakati huo wote nilikuwa nafikiria serikali hii ni serikali ya Mungu. Because is the one we voted for. Kwa maana ndio tuliyoichagua. To our embarrassment. Lakini kwa aibu yetu. It's a government of fight. Ni serikali ya vita. I was so concerned. Nilikuwa na hisia sana. And, and, and I know the politicians in this house you get disappointed with me today. Na najua wanasiasa katika nyumba hii mtaweza kusikia vibaya. Badala yetu sisi on the things that concern us the economy of the nation how we can build ourselves how we can do this how we can better have better health systems usika na mambo ya maana kama kujenga uchumi wetu you arm yourselves yani munajipa silaha without not giving us a notice we are notice. also going to arm ourselves hata na kuchukua silaha in prayer katika maombi Because now we are returning let me just can I say something What are the same kitu Most of us ladies we may wear makeups but one thing we are not good at Wengi wetu tunaweza kuvaa vipodozi lakini kuna kitu ambacho siwa TV Mr. Gary knows this when you buy a TV a decoder we have a problem tunayo shida of reading instructions ya kusoma maelezo So those who are of you are married you are ever asking your husband how do you fix it eno ikagirwa the how do you do this Wale ambao wameolewa kila wakati tunauliza mabwana zetu Yet you have a manual book Na pia una kitabu cha maelezo We are not very good in manual books Pengine hatujui kusoma vitabu vya maelezo My question is Swali langu ni hili The government of the day. Serikali ya siku. We have heard about the foundation. Tumesikia kuhusu misingi. If the foundation of this this nation and this government is God. Iwapo msingi wa taifa to the manual book. Mbona usirejee katika kitabu cha maelezo? So you can fix what you can fix. Ili uweze kutengeneza kile ambacho uwezi kutengeneza. As a voter I'm embarrassed. Kama mpiga kura ninaibika sana. And the next election you must convince me. Na katika uchaguzi ujao lazima unipatie sababu. We are sick and tired of having noise. Tumechoshwa na kelele. We want performers. Tunataka watendakazi. We want workers. Tunataka watendakazi. Don't arm yourself like you are going for war. Usijitie usivae silaha kama kama unaenda vitani. Arm yourself to serve the nation of Kenya and the people who voted for you. Za kufanyia kazi wa Kenya na watu walio kuchagua. We're going to do another prayer. Come here Menesa Habat. Tutafanya ombi lingine. Come on, let's arm ourselves. Somebody must go home again. People must start to go home. Home is where we want you in your village. Don't stop anywhere. We are sending most of you home. We did not vote for you to go and make noise for us. We voted for you to become performers. Oh, come on the church of Jesus, make a shout. For three minutes let's wage war for our nation. Begin to pray. Begin to pray for our nation. We refuse noise in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody. The poor people are becoming poorer. The economy is getting worse from day to day. Sick people can never get treatment again. Come on somebody. We cannot watch ourselves going down. Begin to wage war in the name of Jesus. And we sought you O oh God for a nation that fears God. Master, we cried out to you for months on end, O oh God. And it was not just an activity of prayer. It was not just a blabbering we were doing in the place of prayer. For indeed, you heard us, O oh God, because prayer penetrated the heavens. And Lord, you heard us You heard us when we prayed oh God and my father you gave us a government that fears God you gave us a people oh God who would cry out to you oh God and call you oh God by your name our father 
Lord, we cried out to you, O oh God, and a prayer you heard us, Abba Father. Today, our faces are ashamed when we see what is happening in our nation, oh God. And it has not taken five years. It has only taken two short years. Already, oh God, things are broken apart, oh God. Already there is a breach. Oh my God, what shall we say? What shall we say? But oh my God, like Ezra said, oh God, oh, our faces are ashamed before you, oh God. My God, our faces are ashamed. You have provided an opening for this nation that there may be the greatest revival emanating, oh God, from this nation, oh God. Yet again, there is death in the pot. Oh God, while well, this nation is being healed, oh God. Yet, oh God, there is a problem in the leadership, oh God. Rabakasanda, there is a problem in the leadership, oh God. Master, we just come to you, oh God, again. Because like your servant Ezra said, we yet remained escaped. We yet remain, oh God, in redemption, Abba Father. We ask you in the name of Jesus that you may heal this nation, oh God. We stand in the gap, in the breaches. And I command, we command the healing of every breaches. In the name of Jesus, that my God, where there is death in the pot, let there be life again. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, where our leaders are fighting, oh God. The poor people cannot afford oh, a meal. Well, the leaders are fighting, oh God. Many are going to hospital. My God, then there is a confusion in the cards. They cannot be able to access medical care. And your people are dying, oh God, while well, the leaders are fighting. Master, we ask you in the name of Jesus, forgive us as a nation, oh God. Oh God of all creation, forgive our land and nation, oh God. Forgive us. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Forgive us, oh God, for every confusion. Forgive us, oh God, for every breaches and every confusion, oh God. Every evil that has been propagated in our nation, my God, we are asking you to forgive us. Forgive our land, oh God. Forgive us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise, oh God. And Father, we thank you, oh God. We remain escaped, oh God, like Ezra said. And we are not going back to captivity. We are not going back to the past. Let the devil know that we are not going back to the past. We are not going back to the past bondages. We shall not go back there. In the name of Jesus. And therefore we rise up against every, every evil that has been waged against this nation. 
For we wrestle not against his flesh and blood, but against his principalities and powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against every spiritual wickedness in high places. Master, we are aware, O oh God, that beside the, behind this facade are evil forces that have waged a war against our land. We know that there are forces of evil that have waged in the secret places against this place, against our nation. And therefore, we rise up against every evil altar. We rise up against against principalities and powers that are against this nation. We rise up against every spirit of greed, against every spirit of confusion, against every spirit of wickedness, every forces of hell, against our nation. We rise up against you in the name of Jesus. We tear you down. We uproot you. We rebuke you out of our nation in the name of Jesus. And we declare in the name of Jesus every door that you use to come into our nation. We command you to get out of it yes. and we shut that door. We shut every door. Every door that you came that you used to come into our nation. We shut it in the name of Jesus. We speak to the gates of Kenya. Every gate of this nation. Hey, every gate of this nation. We shut them from the forces of hell. Hey. We speak to the pillars of Kenya. The pillars of this earth. In the name of Jesus. May you be strong. Oh pillars of Kenya. You shall not be shaken. You shall not be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. And Father, as has so been decreed by the prophet, so do we also decree it as well. That any voice, any individual who has habitually been allowed, has allowed himself to be used of the devil to cause any evil in this nation. In the name of Jesus. As sure as today is the 20th day of October 2024. I have removed you from your seats in the name of Jesus. As has so been decreed by the prophet, so do we also declare as today being the 20th day of October 2024, you do not have no seat in the name of Jesus. You can move now and go and do other things in the name of Jesus. Kenya, we turn to you now and we declare where we left off the building, where we left off the rebuilding and we were taken away by other shenanigans. We now return to the place of rebuilding in the name of Jesus. We build our economy. We build our economy. Every sector of this nation we declare in the name of Jesus that you will become to be rebuilt again. The agricultural sector during this period of the short rains we declare to you you will do well in in the name of Jesus, we speak to you, Kenya Shilling. You will remain strong and be even stronger. In the name of Jesus, we speak and declare to the treasury, they that are manning the gates of finance, they that are manning the gates of the balance of payments in our country, we declare the wisdom of God upon you in the name of Jesus. We declare
declare and every 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 bill that will be brought in parliament they shall be bills which favor the work of God in the name of Jesus we thank you for every policy document that is being written and rewritten any policy document that is not right we cancel you now we cancel you in the name of Jesus we cancel you in the name of Jesus we only allow the right bills to come the right policy will be propagated in government in the name of Jesus I speak to every arms of government I speak to every arms of government the executive speak to the legislature speak to the judiciary we command them to return back to the rebuilding back to what they have been called to do in the name of Jesus we call you blessed Kenya Kenya you are blessed Kenya you are blessed in your going out and you are coming back in you will remain blessed you will be known that you are favored of God it shall be known that you are favored by God in the name of Jesus Kenya you are marked for blessing for the favor of God we give you thanks we honor you oh God even for the prophet that you have given us in this land she remains yet strong the favor of God always is upon her in the name of Jesus you are her keeper her shade upon her right hand the sun shall not smite her by day nor the moon by night my God you have found your servant and with your holy oil have you anointed her with whom your hand shall be established your arm shall also strengthen her the enemy shall not exact upon her neither shall the son of wickedness afflict her but God does beat down all her enemies you plague all they that play and all they that raise anyone against her in the name of Jesus you extend her hand in the seas and her right hand in the rivers in the name of Jesus master we give you thanks and we give you praise oh God for we pray this trusting and believing in Jesus name we pray Everybody say amen, amen, amen. And how many know, of you know that God answers prayers? Yes. Apart from the politicians in this house. Only one very, very prominent person in this government called me to seek answer from the Lord. And it's not even a Pentecost. Only one. Ni moja tu. Only one. Moja tu. Who recognized Alitambua. that I could be a prophet of God. Ya kuwa nabi wa mungu. But, tell your neighbor it is okay. Because we are in the hands of God. Amen. Amen. What a great wash. And they, these kids looking so beautiful. Amen. You, you know the people who do the instrument. You are so amazing. You are so, so, so good. But can I tell you my favorite, favorite instrument? The saxophone and the saxophone man has come back. Oh, come on, let's give, let's give God another praise. That, that I love, I know that is one of the most toughest instruments. I'm not a musician, but I, but I know, I know. I know. We thank you so much for your effort, your love for God. And your commitment. Amen. Amen. So minister, would you send us home and with the words of benediction. Right. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Why don't we just give thanks. Lord, we thank you for today. 
Thank you for speaking to our hearts. Lord, we leave this house full. And know that you are a God who answers prayer. We thank you for every prayer that has been made on this altar. We thank you for every word of instruction. We thank you for every word of encouragement. Lord, we pray that you will indeed bless your people. Lord, we remember our children as they prepare for their exams. Lord, we decree that our children are blessed. We decree that their memory is blessed. We refuse fear and we pray for the faith and the courage of God even as they return to school and sit for their exams in the name of Jesus. We thank you that you are a good God. Lord, we also pray that as the rains have come from the heavens and watered the ground, Lord, we decree so shall it be in the heavens that the blessings of God and the release of abundance of God shall be upon your people this day in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree that in the next two months the blessings of God as much as the showers of the rains of heaven the blessings of God shall be upon God's people in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that you are a good God in the name of Jesus. Lord, our sure foundation 